and we're back. We have Nayan. Happy birthday to you. I I don't know. Like like, is it like the happy birthday or it's like her own remix? Let's see. No, this is this is not the happy birthday song that I know. Ooh. Yo, this beat at the back, this electric beat, is very trippy. Now this is the heartfelt happy birthday song that everyone deserves to have on their birthdays. This is the happy birthday that will make you cry, right? It won't force you to like dance with your friends. Happy birthday to you. This one is very heartfelt. Yo, that beat, bro, is killing me. Heartfelt, bro. I feel it in her voice. Yo, did this happy birthday to you? It's like your ex is singing the happy birthday to you and she's she regretted that she broke up with you. You know that that feeling? Oh my God. The lyrics itself, the happy birthday is kind of weird because your your mind your mind is already set on that happy birthday song, you know, but I wish like I wish she somehow changed the lyrics so that our mind won't like associate the happy birthday lyrics with the you know happy birthday song, bro, but this shit well it's nice. It sounds so cold. Mm. Yeah, I think this one is is like above above everything except except love countdown. Yeah. The way the way the song starts is like we're opening a radio, but or like a recorder. Oh, 
see it's similar to the i forgot which song it was at uh, the all or nothing right it's the only day the world will give you facts <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I love this lyric right here. Hey, I will turn off the sound of the world that's running fast for a while. You know, you know, this can be like an association to the social media lifestyle that we have right now, the fast paced lifestyle that you know we're always um like somehow forced to stay in trend to keep up to date with everything that's going around this world that's why most people right now are so stressed with life because they can't really keep up with the world but here we, we have like nayan saying now uh, that we you know i hope that today will be a day for you with me just us you know not thinking about you know those social media shit and all you know just just some proper r and r guys which we all need by the way Social media plans. Now I get this. I don't know if I'm getting this right, but this is what I'm getting. Right? With with all the shit right here, you know, because everyone is like with the birthday days nowadays, like it's always surprises, it's always in a big events, it's always in the crowded places, bars, etc. You know, there there's some people that are contented or would prefer to have these like you know very intimate kind of or you know very relaxed peaceful isolated kind of bonding or you know relaxing method that's why it sounds so heartfelt this song right here it's not like the happy birthday to you you know with the friends this one is like a solo queue one v one Happy birthday. Yo, what if this like these lines right here? Dreaming like a child. You know, maybe this was Nayon when she was a child, like dreaming, becoming a, like an idol. And here it's like, and I walk closer and closer. You, you and I, you and I. This is probably you and like her and once, once he's right, once. Walking closer and closer, growing together. Is this it? Holy shit. You see, even if we don't say it, we're becoming alike every day because these idols don't, don't, you know, don't even know who we are, right? There's no way unless you meet them in a fan sign video call event, but there's no way. But they know that they have fans and it's about us who grew up after a long walk. That long walk is that, you know, journey from debut up until now, you know, Nayan making a solo. I really love this line right here. I hope today will be a day for you with me. Video call event, you know? Are we winning this shit? Yeah, this is a chill ass song right here. Enjoy the moment, you see? 
I just let's just enjoy the moment. I love her voice here. Like I don't know if this is like the right term, but throughout the entire chorus, she's like she's like on falsetto, right? I wish you guys all oh, happiness as well. Just like Nyan right here. Holy shit, it's late. We're down to the last song anyway. We're all good. Guess twice songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this one is like above everything except for Love Gone Down right now, and and Pop of course. But we have the final song, Sunset. Let's go. Mm. This this one feels like the most the, like the saddest song among all of it. The, the first part of this song it felt like you know one of those sad moments in a k-drama scene this you know this song the first segment of it fits that kind of scene in a k-drama but like when 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 the the vocalization harmonized in the middle was so nice I said it like nice know where this like album falls right now well, but i'm gonna say it later The sparkles. Yeah, this song right here can can pass as a K drama sad moments kind of song. 
right? You can insert it in any sad parts of a K drama, it'll work, guys. Mm-hmm. This right here, it feels like a dream for a while. Like the happiness that that shit, whatever that shit she's pertaining to, like feels like that band aid feeling. But in the end, you know, you you feel strange again. You know, you're still sad and all. You're still confused. Oh, was she betrayed in this song? Like, she's saying here that you're like a sunset who's only, like, good-looking or, like, eye-pleasing at the moment in a, in a short span of time and then you just disappear. Just like that. And I'm scared of being alone at night when, when, when the moon is up. False promises? I don't know. And then, woohoo! I love this, this, like, segue. Yeah, she, she was probably betrayed here. Maybe this like song is reminding us that all good things come to an end and not just good things like everything comes to an end in general right like especially with our lives like you never know what will happen to us the following day you know we're just happy to be here in the present and we're always scared i mean somehow in hindsight scared of what's to come in the future right so that's why we have to enjoy today guys This song right here is very like emotional, huh? So final final thoughts. Wait, any wait. Uh, before I, like get into my final thoughts, if I'm gonna rank everything, and I'm not even gonna rank like them from first to last, cause you might like hate me and say, yo, why is why is this song last? I'm gonna name my top three songs from this one. It's it's pop, love countdown. Yo, I, I I find it hard to like choose between like yeah I, I'll just stick with the two. I'll just stick with the two, right? Because everything is good right here, but it's like for me it's very situational. 
right? It's not like I, w- I would listen to this like on a normal day. What well, I was saying a while ago, but like this album right here fits in a long kind of drive, you know, drive with friends, long, you know, long road outing trip with your friends on the road. Right, because if you guys listen to the entire song in order, we have here pop is which is very bubbly. Like if you guys listen to like here, right, in chronological order, you can see the descent in, in terms of the the what do what do you call it? Like how 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 bright or lively or bubbly the songs are. Like if you compare it here, this one's very lively. And then, as I've said a while ago, this one is like toned down, right? And then eventually, it somehow all turned, you know, swooped all the way down. Like the vibe was not that bubbly or like lively anymore. And um, to explain my analogy with a lo- like a long kind of road trip with your friends, it's like at the beginning of that road trip, it's like you're all hyped for that shit. Like, ooh! Well, you know, you know, we're going out, we're having this trip, but eventually you'll you'll get tired, right? You'll get tired, and these kinds of songs will fit that mood or feeling, that that tiredness that you have while on the way back home. Are you guys are you guys like you know, feeling me right now with what I'm saying, right? So this this playlist right here, I would definitely play it this entire album when there's a like a long ass road trip ahead of me. Right, I would not like play it right now or like while I'm working out, but for sure this this entire album right here is a car playlist, is a road trip playlist, if you get what I mean, guys. But but I love this like I love this album. I enjoyed listening to it. But again, it's not just it's very situational for me. But that doesn't mean that this one is bad because again I enjoyed. Listening to this one, I enjoyed Nine's vocals and enjoyed the instrumentals. Even if, like you know, they didn't have to complicate things with this one. You know, simple is is better at some point. You know, at some instances, just like with, uh, I think this one, All or Nothing, was very simple, right? But but it caught me attention. You know, with with Nine's voice and everything. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the, you know, the songs of Nine and the entire album. And I can't wait for the other members of Twice to have their own solo debuts. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.